Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net, emphasis on the .net. This is my logo. And it is a phoenix rising, a phoenix rampant. Anywhere that Wisdom Seekers is, you'll find the phoenix rampant. Uh, feel free to reach out and talk and ask questions. And uh, you can reach me on Messenger, my work page. Just remember that one is open to anybody who works on Wisdom Seekers. It's not, it's just not mine alone. So if you have co personal questions, maybe not, maybe look somewhere else to reach out to me. And um, this is for, ha, huh, it's the 10th today, so it's for the June 11th, 2023. For the fire signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And let's see what it comes. The first card that I pulled was the Five of Swords. And I read the Five of Swords of how having been through the ringer, so to speak, you 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 suffered the downs, maybe a, some good ups and downs again. But you've got your sea legs. You've got your legs of dealing with the energy. You know how to handle the energy. When it goes down, you know how to bend your knees. When it goes up, you know how uh, how to move your body or your mind or how to react, basically. You have developed tools. The one thing that's really cool about uh, the Five of Swords is that you're heading towards dry land. So that doesn't lift and heave like the energy tides. Why? Because you've, you've cleared up a lot of your inner hooks. And when you clear up your inner hooks, then you have a not easier, but a smoother ride. So the next card is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is, yeah, it's time to make a change. And uh, it's a thought out change. You, you don't do it willy nilly. You can, but you don't have to. But it is, because it's a shift, because it's a change, it will take the Two of Swords. It will take a lot of courage to do this. And a lot of blind faith. You want to know where you're going. You don't exactly have to know how you get there. But it does take a lot of courage to step into the unknown. And it is the unknown that everybody is stepping into that is moving forward in the spiritual zone. Why? Because, well, if we've done it, we've done it so many, many, many lifetimes ago that it's, it's brand new to us again. You don't have to do it totally blind. It would be nice for us, because I don't know about you, but when I read a book, I want to read the last chapter before I get to the end, because I want to know how the story ends. So you you can reach out to the universe, the King of Cups, and I use that when it's not a, a particular human being. I use it as an energy of, of intuition. So this is the far-seeing kind of intuition where you go looking for the answer. It's a masculine form of intuition. And it's a very powerful form of intuition that it behooves us to learn how to do, actually, because we can get answers faster, quicker, ac more accurate than if we sit and just hope that things are going to come into play. So. Allow yourself to be able to reach out and do the far seeing. There's courses on it if you need to take a course and you don't trust yourself. Otherwise, you just hone it down until you do. So, what this will do for you when you when you allow yourself to be moved by the move through the flow of the universe, and you and you also do a little of self searching you get the judgment card and the judgment card because we're coming to the end of time and we're not coming to into the end of the world we're coming to the end of time and who among us hasn't noticed how much faster the days go we're coming we're running out of time it's like a train track that has going full speed ahead 
and suddenly the tracks are no longer beneath us. We're running out of time. So what that does, it develops a great deal of faith in the universe with your smart, because the universe, not always nice, not always just, but will always be there for you. With the light of the universe, the, the, the judgment of the universe is coming out of the darkness into the light. And when we do that, that's when it hurts because we have these moments of dread. We have these moments of dark uh, tower moments or, or, or mini deaths because we're changing our belief systems as we walk. You know, one from one step to the next, a belief system may go out the window. And this is the card that nobody likes, but this is a mini one. It's the Two of Pentacles, which is balance. Be, be patient. There's a lot of things happening, so allow yourself to be patient because we want things yesterday. We still have to adjust in our physical body, our emotional body, our mental body. We, we may logically think we're ready, but not necessarily. So if you put in the effort, you will reap the rewards. But it is a momentary break in rest spot. It's not a full-on rest spot, okay? But it is a continuing to grow. But sometimes we need to integrate, so take some time to integrate. That's what the patience card's all about. And today, the cards have spewed up this one for... Uh, fire sign this is the nine of cups and it's uh, it's being on cloud nine allow yourself to be happy it is the best way to go and make a wish it's a wish card enjoy and thank you love you now you i do love bye